Hello, everyone. Welcome to Focus Point 360 Advanced Primary Eye Care Root Show. And when we are talking about eye checking, we often just get our eye power check. But do you know that your eyes are actually the windows of your soul? It means that your eyes actually can tell a lot more information than you could imagine. All right. So today, we are actually very proud and honored to have a very handsome gentleman here. Now, we would like to invite the optometrist and training manager from Focus Point, Mr. Zarif, to talk about eye examination should go beyond power check. So, good, good afternoon, yeah. So, basically, my name is uh, Muhammad Zarif bin Muhammad No. Okay. I'm a training manager at Focus Point uh, Vision Care. Okay. And graduated from UKM lah, for both my master's and degree. Uh, and I have about 14 years experience in working. So we go for the topic, yeah. So basically, it's a beyond power check. So basically, uh, this topic we are covering. Uh, normally, people come to our optical outlets, so they have a common issue. So first, uh, first thing first, may, may I ask you, lah? So normally, yes. when you come to outlets, what is your common issue? My common issue is just to get a new pair of spectacles. Okay. Yeah. So normally people come because of the blurring of visions, yeah? yeah? So normally people check that. They thought that when their visions are blur, it's because of their power changes, okay? So this is the common cause that we see in the outlet. Lah. But do you know that your blurring of visions are basically can happen more than just the power changes, yeah? So today I will cover all these topics. So basically the, 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 the as simple as a dry eye can also cause a blurring of visions, yeah? So, before we go to the topic, so let me get to know to the eyes lah. Okay, so All people right. say in Malay, yeah, you tak kenal maka you tak cinta. Okay, oh. so or you call it, if you don't know it, you cannot love it. Yeah? Okay. So, we go to the eye. So, basically, this is our eyes. Okay? So, we look from the front. So, basically, in the machines, we have a few tests. That we check from the front up to the back. Yeah? So, the front part is the cornea. Okay? So the blue color one is the iris. Okay. So normally in Asian we are in a brown color. Lah, yeah? So inside the iris, if you can see the one that is at the center, it's a lens. Okay. So this lens is actually uh, we call it as a crystalline lens. Okay. And this crystalline lens, uh, their functions is like a camera lens. Lah. So when clearly when you change focus from distance to near, it also have a function to zoom in and zoom out the image. Yeah. To make sure the image that form in the retina are clear. Okay. So next, we go to the retina. You can see at the back part, there is a blue and the red color things. That is basically your blood vessels. Lah. Ah, okay. So the blue is your veins. The red one is your artery. Okay. Inside this, uh, basically the blood vessels function is to supply all the nutrients, the oxygen to your eyes eh, to make sure your retina get all these things. Yeah? Okay. So next, we go to the eye. Okay. So how do we see actually? Okay. So this is the eye. So basically, when we see things, we are looking. Uh, the light should be able to penetrate the eyes. Okay. So this is the light. It goes through to your cornea, then it goes through to your lens, then it re it received by your retina. Okay. So when anything happens in this throughout the process, yeah, throughout the journey of the light. Let's say you have something blocking the visions here. Something block the light from there, so the light cannot enter. Okay. Or else. Let's say you have cataract, it blocks the light at the lens space, yeah, the, that lens area. So you also have a problem to see. Okay? And these things, okay, so we go to the vision's abnormalities. Yeah? So what caused these vision problems? Okay? So we can divide it into four things. Lah. Okay? So first thing is your ocular surface. So uh, we covered that uh, one by one later. Yeah? Next we is ocular media, then your retina, and the last one is the eye muscles. Okay? So, what is actually ocular surface? So, ocular surface is your tears, your conjunctiva. Conjunctiva is actually the white part of your eyes. Lah, okay? It's a transparent layer, but we see it about white color. Yeah? So, next is your cornea. Okay? So, all these layers, will, uh, we ca categorize it as your ocular surface. Yeah? It means the outer surface of yes, our correct. eyes. Lah. Correct. Yeah, yeah. correct. It brings back my memory to my secondary school. <laughs> I actually learned that, but already forgotten all uh, of it. Okay. <laughs> So basically, these tears, right, it provides a smooth surface to your eyes. Okay? If you have dry eye problems, then your surface will become uh, not smooth. Lah, okay? It will become a bit bumpiness. Yeah? So when it is not smooth, the light will be scattered. Okay? So then, uh, when the light is scattered, your vision will be 
blur. Okay. So next we go to the conjunctiva. Conjunctiva normally you see uh, is there any inflammation to your conjunctiva? Let's say you have allergic reactions to your eyes, okay? Or you are uh, you have we call it a conjunctivitis lah. Okay, conjunctivitis can happen because of your allergy, because of infections, yeah, bacteria or virus infection to the eyes. Okay. Next is your cornea. So cornea is very important because it contribute uh, two thirds of your eye power. Yeah. Okay. So when there is Anything or something happen to your cornea, uh, such as uh, inflammation to your cornea, or you have a cornea scarring, it will it will cause a blurring of visions also. So what normally uh, when you normally see people who have cornea inflammations, uh, what do you think? I actually don't know, but I heard <laughs> of it, and the outcome is actually quite horrible, right? It can actually cause blindness. Is it? Uh, if there is a scarring, then it can cause blindness because the bl the scar at your cornea are permanent. Oh, okay. okay, so normally people who are at risk is people who are wearing a contact lenses. Okay, so if you are wearing a contact lenses, your eye are at risk of getting uh, cornea inflammations, cornea infections, and scarring. Okay, that's why contact lenses is actually a medical device. You cannot buy it online, so you have to get a proper eye check when you are wearing a contact lenses. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> what is the proper eye check we should do whenever we want to buy? a new pair of contact okay. lenses? So basically, contact lenses, we have three steps. Uh -huh. So the first one is the fitting, fitting of the contact lens because okay. not everyone's eyes are the same. Okay, same like your body when you're wearing your, your shirts. Oh. Some people wear the shirts, the, the fitting looks nice, but some looks baggy, right? Okay. So same thing with contact lenses, okay? If the contact lens fit well, then we can proceed to the dispensing the contact lens to you. Okay. okay. Then after that, we normally look for the uh, aftercare. Okay, so con uh, contact lens aftercare is also important because when you are wearing a contact lenses, normally there will be a slight changes to your eyes, especially your tears layer. Okay, so while doing that cornea, uh, contact lens aftercare, we can look at the changes. Is it tolerable changes or is it uh, abnormal changes? Okay, so right. by monitoring these steps, so we can make sure your eyes are healthy for uh, long term contact lens wear. All right, remember to get your eye monitored, okay? Yeah, okay. So next we go to the next uh, ocular media. Yeah? So ocular media is the ocular refractive media. So basically the one that I mentioned just now, your cornea, the lens, and the vitreous. Okay? So your cornea I already covered before. Okay, sorry. Okay, the cornea I already covered before. It covered about two-thirds of your eye power. Your total eye power is about 60 diopter. Okay, so cornea I covered about 40 diopters. Okay, so next is your crystalline lens. So normally crystalline lens, you can see uh, when you are aging. Okay, it turns, it turns to become less uh, transparent. Okay, we call it as a cataract, lah, cataract changes. Yeah? So by, look, by doing uh, comprehensive eye examination, we can have a look at how your lens change yeah so next is the vitreous vitreous is basically the gel inside the eye okay when we are aging the gel become liquefied okay sometimes you can see like a, a spider web floating inside your eyes right so well, we call this as a floaters okay this is because of the liquidifications of the vitreous yeah okay okay next we go to the retina so retina is actually the it's like a film in your camera Ah, okay, so when you have a camera, there is a film at the back. So basically, this film are the one that capturing the image, right? So if the films are spoiled, the image also spoil. Okay. Ah, okay, so we are looking at the retina. Normally, this one we look at the fundus image, lah. Okay, we look at any signs of hemorrhages. Okay, yeah, hemorrhage is meaning that bleeding. Okay, any sign of inflammations or okay, a swelling or detachment. Okay, so what person who are having uh, high risk of hemorrhages and inflammation is person who are diabetic. Diabetic. Yeah, okay. okay. So normally people who are diabetic, we will recommend you to have your eye checked. If you don't have any uh, diabetic eye problem, we recommend you at least once a year. Okay, but later, next topic, we will be cover more about the diabetic retinopathy. Okay, we have All the right. eye doctor to cover that topic for you. So actually, it's quite... How to say it's quite informative because taking care of your eye, not just including like taking care your eye part only, but also your diet, right? Your yes, daily correct. diet. Yes, correct. Yeah. So from that's why you mentioned just now, the eye is the window to your soul. Yeah. So basically, we are knowing your health status by just looking at your eyes area. All right, all yeah? right. 
So next is the detachment. So basically the detachment area, this one is the, uh, it's tear. Lah. Okay, basically it's tear. So people who have very high power, okay, they have also a higher risk of getting this detachment because uh, when you are having a high power, your eyeball are slightly longer than usual. So when it's longer, it is stretching your eyeball, okay, that, that your retina layer become a bit fragile. Okay, so it's easy to detach. Okay, so normally we look at this, uh, we emphasize more on people who have a very high short sighted. So who, uh, which category is actually, actually uh, categorized as the high risk group? Okay. So as the power, we normally we categorize high myopia when your power is more than minus six, minus, minus six. 600. Okay. okay, so we consider it's already high myopia. Okay, okay. okay. so the last one, I think that's <clears throat> eye muscle. Okay. So the last is your eye muscle. We look at your, the function of your mu eye muscle. So basically, yeah, right? do, how much do you think our eye, uh, how many muscles that control your eye movement? How many <laughs> eye muscles? Uh? Um, I, just, uh, I just do a quick, quick guess, you la. can guess. I think it is two. Okay, basically we have six muscles. Six muscles, uh, okay. Six muscles controlling our eye movement. And that three muscles, uh, that six muscles are con uh, innervated by three, three cranial nerves. Yeah, three nerves. All right. Okay. So three, three groups of nerves. So basically, we have we are looking at accommodations. So accommodations. Do you remember the previously I mentioned about the lens? Uh -huh. Okay. The lens function is to zoom in and zoom out the image, right? Yeah. So the accommodation is basically the process of doing it. Mm. Okay. So when you are aging, your muscles, uh, your lens become less flexible okay so when it become less flexible you have more difficulty to uh, focus okay to so zoom in and zoom out too so the movement of the lens become restricted a bit okay so when this happen you have, you have a problem in focusing at near or focus uh, or changing focus okay from distance to near or near to distance yeah so this accommodation problems uh, it can happen we normally see in elderly but it can also happen in young, uh, young adult or young kids. Yeah? So okay. we, we can check that one for you if you are doing a comprehensive eye examination. Okay? Next is virgins. So virgins is basically the eye movement. So basically when you look near, your eyes will move in, both eyes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So if you not, don't have this ability to converge, yeah? so you will have double visions at near. Means focus, is it? Uh, no. The focusing is for accommodations. Oh, okay. Divergence is the eye movement. Okay. Oh, movement. So basically, when you are looking at near, both eye needs to turn in. Okay. Okay. All right. So some people they have this difficulty; they cannot turn in much. Okay. Mm. So if you have this problem, you also have a double vision. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. So I think okay. So what is actually a comprehensive eye examination? Yeah? So comprehensive eye examination is actually a series of tests to assess the different aspects of your eye health. Okay? So we, it's it not one test, it's a multiple test. Okay? So in focus point, we call this test as a 360 apex, so advanced primary eye care. So we are checking more than just checking the eye power. Okay? Okay, so this is the, the, the equipment that we, we will use. Lah. Okay? So you can see in the roadshow, so we normally use all this equipment. Okay, so the, the first one we call as a slit lamp. Okay, slit lamp by a microscope. So basically this slit lamp, we can check the ocular surface of your eyes and the ocular media of your eyes. Okay, so by looking at it, we can detect any abnormalities. Lah. Is there your cornea, is it transparent? Is there any inflammation happen to your cornea? Okay, uh, your media, your lens, is it clear or not? Okay, so, so this is the example. Okay, the picture okay, that we get. So the first picture, you can see the whitish color there. So we call this as a pterygium. So basically, it's a growth on your conjunctiva. Okay? So this uh, growth, sometimes in, uh, it will cause uh, astigmatism. You have, we will have a glaring problem, astigmatism power. Okay? So normally, we will refer this to an eye doctor. Lah. So the doctor will do a minor surgery to remove the, the tissue. So is it inevitable or treatable? Uh, so normally, the one, this one, it happens normally in people who are exposed to very high UV, UV exposure. So okay. sometimes you can see in a fisherman, okay? Oh, uh, or okay. people who are doing a lot of outdoor activities, okay? So because exposure to UV, exposure to a sun, uh, sorry, the sand or dust uh -huh. and a very dry environment, it can trigger the growth, yeah? Okay. So normally, we will advise people who have a sign of it, 
to control your UV exposure lah by using a UV protection when you are going out. Okay, like sunglasses or cap. Okay, so the second one you can see a brown, uh, the green color one. This is actually the tears layer. Okay, layer. so normally we will put some fluorescent staining. Okay, we put some coloring to your tears so that we can assess your tears. Okay, so you can see the tears are not distributed well. It break up earlier than it suppose yeah so when it break up earlier then you will have a drying spot to the eyes which cause the blurring uh, when it's bl it's dry it can it can cause a blurring of visions okay so the last one we can see this one is actually your eyelid yeah so eyelid margin okay so your eyelid margin right they have actually a pores okay so this small pores the function is to secrete oil okay uh, oil. So basically, the oil are one of the component of your tears. Oh. It will protect your tears from evaporate fast. All okay? right, all right. So when it block, it can cause the tears to evaporate faster than it 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 should lah. Okay, okay. So next picture, this one is a cataract. Okay, you can see the lens become a bit of yellowish color or brownish color. Okay, so when this happen. The patient blur, uh, will have also a blurring of visions. Yeah, it's not necessarily because of the power. Sometimes you corrected it, you check the power, the power no different. You already give the spectacles, but the customer still complaining about the blurring of visions. Yeah, without knowing that basically it's already have a cataract. Okay. So next is the retina. Okay, so this one the machine that we have here. Okay, we take the picture, the back part of your eyes. Okay, we call it as a retina. Okay, so. Okay, I show you this one. Yeah, so this is the actual picture. Okay, so you can see the retina. It has abundance of blood vessels. Okay, they mentioned just now we have artery and the vein. Yeah, but in this uh, real life, it doesn't turn blue, lah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's how the vein is blue color, the artery is red color. Yeah? yeah. But basically, you can see the blood vessel. They have two sides. One is slightly bigger, thicker. One is slightly smaller. Yeah. So the thicker one is your vein. The smaller one is your artery. Okay. So next, we look normally we look at this the the center part, you can see slightly darker color, mm -hmm. the orange there, the yeah. slightly darker color. That one we call as a macula. Macula. Yeah, macula. Oh, M-A-C-U-L-A. Yeah? Okay. So this macula is actually the most sensitive area of your eyes. So basically that is your vision. So the, all the light that you receive, uh, the entering your eyes will fall there. Okay? If anything happens to your macula, your vision will also drop. Okay? So next we look at this orange circle here. Yeah? Okay? So this one we call as your optic disc. Okay, and the inside that uh, circle, you can see one brighter yellow that is actually your optic cup. Okay, we normally look at the cup size. Okay, so why important? Because we the cup size is the cup is actually like a hole behind your eyes where your blood vessels come in lah. Okay, we we look at the size of it. We don't want it to be too big lah. So if it's too big, then we call it as cupping. Okay, so it's an indication of other disease we call as a glaucoma. Okay. So this is the example of it. Yeah? So you can see the cup is very big. Okay? So you can see here, the, this is the cupping. Okay? So the cup is bigger than uh, it should lah, normal. Yeah? So normally in this case, we, we monitor together with the eye pressure. And if it's a eye pressure is high and there is a cupping, normally we will refer to eye doctor for a further investigation. Okay? So you can see here, there is a red spot, right? Compared yeah, to the previous picture, it's clean, right? The background is orange color. Yeah. Here you can see a red spot. This is actually a blood. Okay? So the blood are leaking out from the blood vessels. So mm. this is normally seen in people who have diabetic. Diabetic. Okay? Okay. So diabetic and it is not in a good control. Lah. Okay? So you can see this from the fundus for the retina. Okay. Another one, this one you can see all this yellow spot. Okay, so basically this yellow spot we call as a drusen. Okay, see so it's a degenerations of the eye. So normally you can see this in an aging eye. Okay. Okay. So next we mentioned about eye muscle before. Yeah. So your eye uh, work together, to, uh, right and left work together. Yeah? It not like one eye work differently, uh, separately from the others. Yeah. So that's why we call it as a binocular vision. Bino means that uh, two lah. Okay. So. So binocular vision. So when we are checking your eye, we have to check it together, not separate right and left. We have to look at how your eyes work together uh, in, as a team. Yeah? So there is a few equipments. Okay? So basically the eye muscle, uh, we look at how the eyes are converging, how the eyes are accommodating, okay? look at near and so on. Okay? We also have a look uh, at your pupil reflections, okay? uh, pupil, sorry, pupil reflex. 
so how your pupils are constricting towards the line okay so that is also indicating something it gives some information to the optometrist and the eye doctor okay okay why you need a comprehensive eye examination? Yeah? So this one I take from a national eye study in Malaysia done in 2018. Okay? So 86% uh, of visual impairments is uh, actually avoidable. Okay? Meaning that we can avoid it if we detect it earlier. Okay? So from that, 86% uh, right? So 59% are due to a cataract. 10% okay? from diabetic retinopathy. 7% okay, due to glaucoma and 24% is due to others. Others is also include the non-refractive error. Lah, uh, okay? So some people, we are, we are, uh, some unfortunate people, they don't have access to a medicals. They don't know they have this uh, refractive error problem and it doesn't get the uh, spectacles. Yeah? So in the end, it will cause a visual impairment also. Okay. Okay, so this one. Children and adults who pass vision screening could still have eye health or vision problem, okay? Because without checking the retina, without checking your lens, without checking your cornea and so on, sometimes you might not notice there is a abnormal changes happen, okay? So, comprehensive eye examinations are the only effective way to confirm or rule out any disease or vision problem, okay? So, okay. I just share you some uh, two cases. Yeah? So we found this during our previous roadshow. Okay? So this is a young gentleman, 37 male. Yeah? So sh he complained about blurring of visions. He feel like there is a dust inside the eyes. Yeah? Okay. So because of that, he always rub the eyes. Yeah? Because he thought like there is something inside. Okay? Because it, the vision is blur. Okay? So we checked the refractive error is not significant. So basically no improvement with her corrective lenses. Okay? But upon slit lamp examination, it showed that the lens are uh, not transparent. Okay, lens opacity. Okay, on the right eye, covering almost half of the inferior pupil. Okay, but the eye pressure is normal. The retina, we, we cannot see clearly the right eye because of that opacity of the lens. Yeah, but we refer this uh, uh, gentleman to a eye doctor lah, for a cataract assessment. Yeah, so we suspect they have a cataract in the right eye. Okay, so even if it's still young. So you so you still have you still also have a risk of getting a cataract So we suspect this is a traumatic cataract. So something hit the eye, then it caused a cataract. Okay. So this is the picture. Okay, you can see the difference, right and left. That is the right eye. This is the left eye. You just look at the center. One is whitish color, another one is transparent color, black color, right? So we look at bigger one, yeah. So. So you can see, yeah? so basically this whitish color is the lens opacity. Lah. So basically it's blocked the light entering the eye. So that's why the, the customer, the patient complained blurring of visions. Okay? So the second test, uh, the second case. Yeah? So this one, the uh, auntie is 58 years old, female. So he compl she complained about blurring of vision on right eye and he's not satisfied with the spectacles. Lah. So we checked the power, no significant power changes for both distant and near because this, is, uh, this uh, patient is also a multifocal, contact, uh, multifocal spectacles wearer. So slit lamp, we show just a mild opacity on both eye, but the fundus imaging shows like a folding appearance yeah, in the retina at the right eye around the macular area. So we referred this to the ophthalmologist. So basically, these um, patients are on a follow-up with HUKM. Yeah, now. So this is the picture. So you can see like the back, the area at the round macula. You can see why a striae, yeah, that the folding area. Yeah. So this one we refer lah. So the the patient now is with the follow-up with ophthalmologist in HUKM. Okay. So how frequent you have to get? your eye examinations, okay? So normally uh, for babies, at six months, we already encourage you to have uh, children eye, uh, eye examinations. But for unfortunately, for six months years old, we normally encourage you to see an eye doctor. Lah. <laughs> okay, it's difficult for you to check, to get the eye check in the outlet, okay? So next is uh, second eye examination. Normally, we encourage you to get at the age of three, okay? And one, next uh, eye examination is before you and the kids are entering school. Okay, so before they enter the school, we normally encourage them to get the eye check because we want to make sure they don't have any problem. It will disturb the learning process. Okay, so adult for adult, we normally encourage to get uh, one or two years every one or two years, and for senior, we normally encourage for annual checkup. Okay, but for adult, right, if you have a problem like diabetic, hypertension, normally we will encourage you to get a yearly checkup. Yeah. 
Okay, so this is that uh, example, uh, the, the video. Okay, so basically, uh, in uh, Apex, we have eight steps. So we start with uh, eye health history by getting to know you more about your previous uh, ocular on health history. Then we do a color vision test. This is the binocular vision that I mentioned just now to check your focusing power, uh, focusing ability, and the converging ability of your eyes. Then this one, we check your refractive error. Okay, we check your eye power. Then this is the entry assessment where we check your cornea, ocular surface, and ocular media. We also measured your eye pressure. Okay. And next, followed by retina screening. Yeah? So by looking at your retina, we have a better idea lah what caused the problem. So lastly, we do a consultation. Yeah? So at step, uh, uh, refractive error is just one of the component. Yeah? <laughs> okay. okay, so uh, we have currently about 70 outlets that have all these uh, services. Okay, so you can scan this QR to, like, to get the list. But if you come to Roadshow, you get a uh, eye passport. Okay, so basically in that passport also have this QR. So you can scan and you get the list of outlet that provide these services. Okay, then you can have a call, make an appointment with them, and have a visit. Okay. All right. Thank you for the insightful sharing, Mr. Muhammad Jaff. Jar Jarif, is it? <laughs> I'm so nervous right now. But overall, we know that the ultimate uh, eye screening is actually can detect your entire eye condition also, right? So if you want to get the ultimate eye screening to also make an appointment and visit any focus point outlet nearby, all right? Also do stay tuned to our social media platform for more event updates and also eye health information. And do follow our focus point Facebook, IG, TikTok, and also Xiao Hong Shu. Thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs>